In such a rapidly developing industry, there are a lot of priorities, partnerships, issues and things that we have to tackle. What are your priorities over the next one to two years? Firstly, we need to finish the great job on proportionate regulation that's been initiated by the team. We've got teams of working groups looking at decision trees for the data requirements for biologicals. That's for microbial, for natural substances and for semiochemicals. And we have representatives from member companies actually working together to be able to submit their views to the Commission by the end of the year. A key priority is to promote biocontrol and to show that it works. This can be done through practical demonstrations on farm to show policy makers, advisors, farmers that this works. We will continue to implement the work with Copacajica, iPhone, PAN to help us achieve this. We will also reach out to other sustainable agriculture organisations, accreditation organisations, food companies, all the people who are actually trying to create a shift in the way that agriculture is done. In parallel, we will lobby for the next step in proportionate regulation, which is to have a specific biological regulation that's fit for purpose for biologicals. So they can be placed on the market rapidly while still ensuring correct safety standards. We will work with other organisations that want to achieve the same goal in order to maximise our effectiveness. I would like to see more engagement with members and speak to them either face to face or on the telephone to actually understand their needs. So that's each of the 254 members that we have. I'd like to see us make use of secondments and other innovative ways where we can bring more people from the industry into the association and then they can go back to industry again so we can keep the industry association fresh, modern and ready to go. A new and very important area is forming partnerships with digital companies and associations. The data now available to us at plant level, soil level, field level can help us implement biocontrol more effectively and more rapidly. Our industry needs to move on. It's now less about the what of new technology and more about the how do we implement it effectively.